Speaking of a million times, for those who listen to this show and maybe even for those who host it, here's a tune familiar to all of us. Can you give us a sense of what you're hearing while we listen to this? <laughs> Had me listen to that more carefully than I have ever <laughs> listened to it before. <laughs> Tell me something. Well, you know, I think that is a fantastic theme song, and I had not heard it before. And first of all, I'm struck, you know, how something begins. You know, Puccini says, beginnings are everything. And, you know, if you think about it, it's really true, whether it's a book, first line, you know, this was the worst of times, this was the best of times. You know, grabbing someone's attention has always been important, but it's never been more important than now. You know, when I first made my first CD, you know, the uh, producer said, the first 40 seconds are all that matters. It's what grab your attention. And what's so great about this theme song is there's a barrage of notes from the saxophone right at the beginning, fast notes that start off the beat. Now then, here's what's great. He could have continued with all fast notes like this. But instead, there's a great syncopation at the end. And that da 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 is what makes the idea so wonderful at the end. You got that great syncopation, da da ba ba. Then you'll hear there's a crescendo on that note. It gets louder with the anticipation. Then there are two drum clicks, bonk, bonk. He could have done four drum clicks, bonk, 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 bonk. You would have already changed the station. <laughs> you know, just two drum clicks, bonk, bonk. Then we start with an idea, which really is the Kojo version of... It's a motive. It's an idea. Bum, 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 bum. Catchy. It's a short one, but it's the syncopations. It could have been one. No one would have listened, but it's the syncopation. They're on the offbeat. Then there's a little fill after it. Then we come back to the motive. Repetition is what lets you know that it's important. Now, he could have repeated the fill, but he changes it. This time it's... You'll hear the third time it's different. You know, Stravinsky said something really powerful, which is about music, but it's really about life. He said that all composition, and you could read all life, comes down to a balance between unity and variety. Too much repetition leads to boredom, but too much variety leads to chaos. And this tune is a perfect balance of unity and variety. Every other measure is the idea. But then there's variety. Unity. Variety. Unity. Variety. Now, then we've had enough of that. If we did it one more time, it would be intolerable. <laughs> so you go on to a B section. New idea. You do it only twice, though. We've already gotten used to it. We come back to home. We do it one more time. And now this is what's so great about the theme song. We think you know what the world of this piece is about. Short little ideas. ba 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 But all great art at some point undermines the very world it's created. And now all of a sudden you've got a huge melodic line. We've never had a melody. And it sweeps up higher and higher. This big melody. Higher and higher to this climax. Now, then everyone in the world, whether you know it or not, wants to hear that. But we don't get that note. It goes not, but change of chord. And then we're so excited by this climax, we have almost like a recitative, free cadenza for the saxophone, almost not in rhythm. But then we come back to home, and you know, there's a wonderful quote from T.S. Eliot, and he says, we shall never cease from exploration, and the end of all of our exploring will be to come back to the place we started and know that place for the first time. So we come back to the opening thing we started the whole journey with, but now no fill. That bar when there's no fill, what you'll hear is, if you listen closely, now that you have to have good speakers, if you listen, you'll hear the bass go, and it goes bam. And you can hear him slide his finger down in the pause. If you listen closely, you'll hear the hi-hat. Sticks on the hi-hat going tick, 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 tick. But it's different, Phil. We repeat it one more time. It's always been short. But how do we end the piece? You sustain the note. And if you listen closely, there's a little shake at the end. Tick, 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 tick. That fades away. 
a fantastic theme song. A Lenny Williams composition that Kojo Namdi participated in producing.